Poco Beats. Poco Keys. All right. Should I say come on in or is that too much? Okay, all right. And each week, I'm given the challenge of making a new tune with new gear. And this week, it's This Town by Nal Haran. So let me take you in and show you how I made it. Come on in. Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this song, This Town by Nal Haran, using the vocal keys and the vocal beats. So I chose this song for a number of reasons. The first being that it is super catchy. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like this, it is like beautiful sugar pop. You know, the second reason is it's very accessible because it, it came stripped down to begin with. So for me, when I heard it, I was like, that could sound really cool with like a dance kind of beat, something a bit more, something still chill, but something that kind of gives you a little more zest to, to what you're listening to. And then from there, I was able to kind of just make the song on top of it. Because once you kind of get the beat going, I think, for me at least, everything kind of just fell into place. This is it. No, that was terrible. So I connected both Volcas to a Focusrite 2i2 interface, and that went straight into Ableton, straight audio, and then in Ableton, I was able to arrange it. All right, let's start with the beat. So for me, I just kind of thought of the beat in my head at first. So it was kind of like a... I kind of wanted that kind of vibe. So the best way to go, I just press play here. I went to step mode, press play. And then um, I started with beat one on the first step. Sorry, let's go back to kick. Okay, so we've started on beat one. Uh, number four here. And then... Uh, Gonna get the second part in, just like that. And then we'll go to snare. And I used, uh, this was like on the farther part. Yeah. And then I'll program that in there. Good. And then we're gonna get some hi hat in there. I'll go to there. And this was on the first beat of each step. Whoops, that is the low tom. My bad, sorry about that. And the last thing I used was a high tom. And we'll go to high tom. And that was on the sixth beat. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. And that's the beat. Vocal oh keys. For the synth part, I used the Voca keys. And it's actually harder to sound bad than good. So um, it was pretty awesome to use. I, I, this is, I only started using these maybe a day before I made this song and it sounds great. And it was really easy to kind of just transition in. Um, so with the vocal keys, I started, I have it on poly just because I have to use multiple notes at the same time. Um, the great thing about this is the sliding capability. You can play a note and you can just you can just move your finger and it just sounds so, so buttery, just. So the first, so the verse part, if you slide it, that's kind of how I made the, the first verse. Waking up, da, 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 da. Like it just, you can just kind of, um, you can, it's almost kind of like its own vocal kind of thing. Um, so for the, the verse and the pre-chorus and even the chorus, all I used was this kind of setup. One thing that I did was at the end, the, the EGINT knob, I definitely try to up it because it kind of gives more crunch. So at the beginning, it's, if you hear it now. It's, it's still very much, um, it's, it's, it's less distorted, but if you raise this up, kind of gives you a little extra edge to it. So when you play the last chorus, for example, like. That sounds a lot more, more edgy at the end versus kind of something like. Where it, where it is warmer, but it's, it's not as, um, as, as excited. 
Um, what is cool about this is the guitar rig aspect of it. So I, I noticed that this actually sounds really good with guitar emulation or guitar pedals. I, uh, I went into guitar rig here and um, I use this preset called Summer Rocks in guitar rig. And I'll play it here. Kind of gives that 80s kind of edge to it. So here, this is it before. This is it after. So it kind of gives it a little more vintage style to it, which is why um, the, uh, the, the video kind of had a little bit of a throwback kind of feel to it as well. Um, so yeah, this, I'll, I'll just play the, the verse for you one more time here. And that sliding is really cool with it. Yeah, and also for the, the lead synth part, I did once again back to this EGINT knob, just raise it up a little bit to give it more crush, and then you can kind of just give it a little bit more of uh, excitement. So that was the Voca keys and the synth part. So for vocals, um, when I was recording the video, I used a SM57 Sure mic. Um, that was just to kind of, it was really good to kind of get the feel, but of course, live recording. There's always those little parts that are just going to make you want to do it over and over and over and over. So when I went back home, I used a condenser mic actually to kind of uh, mix them together. So I used an AT4040 at home. And what I did was I kind of had to use a compressor just to kind of make it consistent and hold it together. My, my EQ chain after I kind of Frankenstein the parts together, that, the ones that I liked. My EQ chain was, um, I just used regular EQ just off the, out of the box from, from the program. Regular compression, nothing fancy. And then I used the CLA vocal plugin and that was really good. It kind of was able to at least give the sound because you know when you use a dynamic mic and you use a condenser mic, the, the, the vocal range, it, like the amount of sensitivity you always want to kind of find a balance. So that was really good for that. Um, I used the, I, re I really like the spreader in CLA because it, it you're able to, to kind of wrap the vocals around something, especially when you, when you have live vocals or you have like a one take to kind of give that spread is, is really ideal. So that's kind of what I really did for vocals. Thanks guys for watching. This is how I made this town by Nal Haran, the cover version. If there is a certain uh, gear or if a certain kind of song you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get at it. So this is Limited Wit. Thank you for watching again. Take care. I made magic. I made magic.